Hello everybody! My name is Scarlett and I am losing my mind. Thank you for joining me tonight to play some Animal Crossing New Horizon. I got it this morning and I played a little bit before they called me into work. Um, I did not get enough sleep last night. So at work I decided it would be a wonderful idea to drink a whole large iced coffee with my body weight and liquid sugar and I'm not one who usually drinks coffee so I can hear my heartbeat and I can smell colors right now so it's currently 12:30 at night and I'm in my pajam jams and I know what you guys are thinking you know what the heck was that kind of huge bird I'm not paying attention you guys are probably thinking yeah right you sleep in a giant onesie oh yeah I do Oh yeah, this is my sugar glider onesie. I am absolutely in love with it. You'll see me play video games in it once in a while when I'm super lazy and want to be cozy. Um, but I got home from my shift and I was like, hey, I'm gonna go to bed. And my body's like, oh no you're not. You just drank your body weight in coffee five hours ago and you can't handle it because you don't drink coffee. So here I am, wired. I'm gonna get this fish. Go fish, go fish, go fish, go. You yeah, buddy. I got a yes, I got a yes. A carp. My skills are sharp. Very nice, very nice. This is just the kind of punny nonsense I need right now. So, uh, yeah, so I've been thinking about this game like all day at work. And here comes my dog. <laughs> Hi, Molly. Hi, my baby. Hold on, my 70 pound dog needs to get on my lap. This is very important for him. What he looks forward to all night. This is Mole. He's good boy. He's good doggo. You good doggo? He's a good doggo. So, he's just gonna hang out and help me play. He's a good boy. I forgot what I was talking about until my dog showed up. Molly, no! Don't get out of the bro. Get out of the camera. He's leaving. He's camera shy, or he just wants you guys to see his butt. I think it was that. He's showing off his glutes. He does squats when no one's looking. What am I doing? I'm just here to catch fish, and catch bugs, and have fun. Have a good time. And wait for this coffee to wear off. It might be a while. Oh yeah, so anyway, this glider suit is the bomb. So I have 604 sugar gliders and I love them all very much. No, I don't have 604, but I have a lot of sugar gliders and I love them very much. And um, two of them I had to bottle raise and they became my own babies. I breastfed them as young. No, but they did live in my bra because uh, they are marsupials. Wow, that's a big fish. Go and catch you. So they're marsupials, and since their mother wasn't taking care of them, I had to mimic a mother marsupial. And uh, for those of you who don't know what a marsupial is, it's a kangaroo, pretty much. Um, so these are like tree kangaroos, and they have little pouches. So, you know, I'm a human. I don't have a pouch, but I do have boobs. So, wait for the fish. The fish! Gonna catch a fish! Oh, he's a big one. Yes, I caught a black bass. The most metal of all fish. Rock on black bass, rock on. So anyway, so I had a dilemma. I don't have a pouch, but I got boobs. So I strapped on a sports bra for eight weeks. I mean, I washed it. I didn't just wear it eight weeks straight. Um, and I became a marsupial and I bottle fed sugar gliders every two hours for eight weeks. I was exhausted, but now they're my little babies. And I got this as a Christmas gift from, um, I actually got two in the same year. I got one from uh, one of my bosses that I worked with and one from my mother. And it was a joke that I was the mother glider. So this is my mother glider get up. And sometimes when I'm feeling crazy, I'll hang out with them in this. And if my voice sounds a little shaky, it's cause my whole body is shaking currently. Too much sugar, can't handle it. What happens when you give a girl with ADD, 
or actually ADHD, a whole lot of coffee. This, this is what happens. So anyway, I have all these sugar gliders. I got Zeke, Primrose, Duncan, Bingo, Thorn, Pup, Wolf, Spice, Pepper, and Nib. And um, when I hang out with them, they're small and they're crafty. Oh, I'm gonna let this loach go. They're small and crafty. So I don't just let them... What do you need, Molly? I don't just let them loose in my room. I will... What? My dog's going... He wants to go snuggles, and I can't do snuggles right now because I'm very awake. Oh, that's a big fish. Ooh, what do you need, Molly? You want to come up? I'm not even looking at my fish now. I got on to catch fish, and now you're out in my business. So when I want to hang out in my sugar gliders, I have a pop-up tent that I put in my bedroom. And I'll sit in this pop-up tent in my bedroom like a freak with small fuzzy mammals hopping all hopping all over me. So I am the mother glider. And I really want to sew a pouch onto this thing so I can like be a real mother glider and have a glider suit with a pouch and I get to shove them in it. <gasps> oh no, I need a net. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for a hermit crab. Oh, he was so cute. Now I'm sad because I wasn't ready. There'll be more. There'll be more crabs. It's okay. I have two pet hermit crabs. I have six billion animals in my apartment. I have two pet hermit crabs. I have one that's about two years old. His name is Coconut. And I have another one who just turned nine. His name is Little Barnacle, and he is beautiful and so hairy, so very hairy. So there is a way to sex hermit crabs. Um, there's little pores, little black spots underneath their belly, and I believe the males have two and the females don't have any. It's been a while since I had to sex them, about nine years. Um, come on, fishy fishy. Come play with me, fishy fishy. Oh, I hate this tree. It's gonna have to go. Do I have an ax? I think I have an ax. This tree has to go. Oh, I don't, because my axe broke. It's in the way of my fishing. But yeah, so anyway, so you can sex hermit crabs, which is super fun to know. But also, if you decide, I don't want to sex my hermit crab, wait a couple years when it gets a little older. The male crabs become super, super hairy. Like, disturbingly hairy. Like, hairier than, like... Think of like a 45 year old lumberjack that lives in the woods and eats nothing but like tree bark. That is the kind of level of hairy my crab is. You pick him up and I feel like I want to brush his hair. He's got the hairiest little legs and he's super freaking adorable and I love him with my whole heart. So I know a lot of people might get on here and be like, you shouldn't get hermit crabs. They don't breed well in, in captivity. People have to catch them in the wild, it's cruel. I did not know that um, when I was younger, when I was still in high school, when I got Little Barnacle, um, who was my first crab. But he's nine years old and he's spoiled to heck and death. He's got all of the essentials plus more and I love him with my whole soul. So I feel like as far as hermit crabs go, he kind of made out like a bandit because he's the bomb and I can recognize that. And he's so spoiled that when I upgraded him to a larger tank, he was excited for like about 20 minutes. He's like, woohoo! And he like did laps and checked everything out. And he's got his little feelers and he touches his little feelers on things. And I think that's how they smell. Like, so he'll go up to something and he's like, so he was really excited for like 20 minutes and he was like, oh, well, all right. And he's just been like chilling and doing his crab thing. Meanwhile, uh, the other hermit crab coconut I got was my sister's. And he is really cool. He's super big and also super hairy and he is super aggressive so my hermit crab and him well I guess they're both my hermit crabs now they don't live in the same tank and I know they're social creatures but coconut has a history of murder oh I missed a fish so crab murder so I'm not gonna play that game because Little Barnacle means too much to me to risk his life to have a friend. He's my, I'm his friend. 
<clears throat> There's no bugs out tonight, and I was really hoping for some crickets or something. There's just a bunch of fish, and I'm losing them all because I can't pay attention. Because I can't pay attention. Oh, it's an, oh, it's an owl. Oh, it's beautiful. Come back. I love you. I love your face. Oh, there is that a... Oh, I bet it's a wall. Shh. Be very, very quiet. We don't want to scare the moth. Come here, you beautiful creature. Oh, he's nice. I did have a ball doing it. It was very enjoyable. But I can't carry anything else. We're getting rid of something because this moth is the bomb. Mm, let's drop that sand dollar. I'm gonna drop it. Oh, this new one. I'm gonna drop this butterfly. Be free, butterfly. Be free. All right, well, we're at about 11 minutes, and I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna start up with another video because I am hyped, and I am not done with this crazy. <laughs>